Hi everyone. Let's see what the content of today's video is. See, we had discussed the basic zoospherical lenses in the previous video, but in today's video, we are going to discuss the image formation by spherical lenses. previous video link is provided in the description you can check it out spherical lenses make image where the image is formed and what are the properties of the image in this video we are going to discuss all these things for creating the image you have to learn the light ray rules here we have light ray rules for convex lens and concave lens and which helps to draw the ray diagrams. In this video, we are looking for how to apply the rules for creating the image. At first, we need to draw the convex lens F1, F2, 2F1 and 2F2. All these points are at the same distance from each other. There are three rules for convex lens. Rule number one, a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus on the other side of the lens. Rule number two, a ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens goes straight. It emerges without any deviation. Rule number three, a ray of light passing through the focus after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis. Let's place all the three rules here. See rule number 1 is opposite to the rule number 3. Now let's see how to apply these rules for image formation. Let's start with case 1. When the object is at infinity that is far away from the lens, we can consider the parallel rays. And rule number 1 is applicable here. The refracted rays will meet at focus F2. And here, highly diminished point-sized image is formed. Case 2. The object here is a Spider-Man. Where is the object now? Object is beyond 2F1. You need to consider the rays from the top of the object. And choose any two light ray rules. So let's take rule number one and rule number two. Where is the refracted rays meet? Between F2 and 2F2. The image is formed here. What about the size of the image? Small image, but it is real. Real image is always inverted. This is the ray diagram which is given in your textbook. AB is the object here and the image which shows with inverted arrow. And it is A dash, B dash. Case 3, object is at 2F1. This bow is the object here. Consider these two rays from the top of the object and the refracted rays meet here. Image is formed exactly at 2F2. The image is same sized as that of the object. This is the ray diagram for case 3. Now the object is between 2F1 and F1. This is the object here. The light ray rules considered here 
is the same as that of the previous cases. Where is the position of the image beyond 2F2? Enlarged image is formed here. Now the object is at focus F1. See here the light rays are not meeting anywhere. But the rays definitely meet at infinity. So highly enlarged image will form in this case. Case 6 is the final case for convex lens. This is a special case. So I selected an insect here. A small ladybug is the object here. Object is between F1 and O. And see, light rays are not meeting here. We need to produce them backwards to obtain the image. Can you see, the image is magnified here. The image is formed at the same side of the object. But it is virtual image. Virtual image is always upright. This is the principle of magnifying glass. When the object is placed closer to the lens, the image is formed on the same side as the object and is highly magnified. Summary of all the different cases are given in this table. Now, let's see the light ray rules for concave lens. Rule 1. A ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction appears to be coming from the focus. Rule number 2. A ray of light going towards the optical center of a concave lens goes straight through without being deviated. Rule number 3. A ray of light going towards the focus after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis. So based on these three rules, let's find out the position and properties of image. Let's start with case 1. When the object is at infinity, we can consider the parallel rays and light rays after refraction appears to be coming from the focus. Therefore, our image is formed at the focus. And what about the size? Highly diminished, point sized image is formed. Now the object is beyond 2F1. You need to consider the two light rays from the top of the object. Rule number 1. And rule number 2 is applied here. Where is the position of image? The image is formed between F1 and O. And what about the size of the image? It is small. But it is virtual and upright. Now comes the next case. Here also you can see the position of the image is between F1 and O. That means wherever may be the position of the object, the image will be formed between F1 and O. Remember, in case of concave lens, wherever may be the object, the image property will be the same. So, we have finished the topic image formation by spherical lenses. Try to draw the ray diagrams in your book. See you soon with another topic. 